Hello, now we're going to move on to preparing our pine needles and taking our first stitches. So, um, pine needles off the tree are dry and they're crispy and you wouldn't want to make a basket without first softening the pine needles because as you can see, bending it in any way just breaks it apart. So that wouldn't be good. What I do is <clears throat> I boiled these for about five to 10 minutes and um, it makes them soft and bendable and easy to work with. And it also cleans them up a little bit. If your needles have little spots on them, um, that happens just because it's a natural um, material that ages and is exposed to the environment and little bugs and things like that. Um, and also you might have, um, each pine needle has three and you might have one that's broken or shorter and that's okay. Um, you can just double up some of them or you can, you know, just it, the thickness of the coil, um, you can just add more pine needles to make up for any missing parts. Um, and this is a beginner basket also. So as you develop your skill, you may get more picky and choosy with your pine needles. Um, and also some people dye pine needles and make them colors and, um, it takes on a different, um, look when it's dyed because the head sometimes picks up a different amount of the dye color. So anyways, um, we are ready to begin. Take, um, the heads off of a few pine needles. Um, you can do this just by scraping off with your fingernail like this, or you can use a, um, a knife or something, but it's easy enough just to pull the heads off of a few. Um, we're gonna, I'm gonna do four and uh, start from there. Uh, There's four, okay. So, um, and then I prepared the twine that we're using. I made um, a knotted beginning as described in the kit booklet. It's pretty easy, straightforward, and we're ready to take our first stitch. So 